As the summer heats up, too, more numbers to talk about. More of us are heading to the water to cool off, but water quality can be a major issue out there, especially in fresh lakes, rivers, and streams. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean explains what we need to know before diving in to keep us all safe, Jenny. Yeah, the, you know, Caitlin, this is really an issue right now, especially because the water is so warm. It's the perfect greedy, breeding ground for something called Nigleria phalari. It's a brain-eating amoeba is what it's commonly referred to. And while it is rare, it's good to know how it happens because the results can be devastating. It's fatal 99% of the time. And a person can get it if the contaminated water gets up into their nose where the amoeba can then travel to the brain. Now, it happens most often through force, like jumping or diving into the water or water sports. And doctors say it's more prevalent in the hot summer months with higher water temperatures and lower water levels found in warm, fresh water, but also could be found in poorly chlorinated pools or tap water, but not salt water. The good news, Dr. Megan Martin from Johns Hopkins All Children says it is preventable. We want to try to avoid getting water in our nose. And so things you can do are wear a clip over your nose or wear a mask that covers the eyes and the nose. That can prevent water from getting um, up in there. These cases are, are devastating. It's a small thing to do just to keep the water out of your nose and just to avoid this issue completely. Now, according to the CDC, the symptoms can show up as many as nine days after infection. So it is important to recognize the symptoms, especially after you've been swimming in fresh water. Things like a severe headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, all progressing to a stiff neck and seizures. If you are experiencing any of those symptoms, you need to get to a doctor right away if there's any concerns about it. And Dr. Martin says there's an average of one to three cases a year in the U.S. So again, it is rare. But it's not worth the risk, especially when you can prevent it. You know, the last report of a case in our area was in Hillsborough County back in 2020.